In this video, I'm gonna be sharing how I became a digital nomad and traveled the world for two years without teaching English, without being an influencer, without having to do brand deals, and all while making passive income the whole time. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel if you're new around here. Hi, I'm Amy from Rebel Nutrition, and over the past five or six years, I've built a completely online business that generates passive income every single day and when i first got started i actually lived as a digital nomad so even though my setup right now you're probably like amy aren't you just in your house yes i am in my house but i used to be a digital nomad i was a digital nomad for two years traveled over i think 20 different countries worked from wherever i was made my own schedule. I did not have to coordinate time zones with clients or become an influencer or leverage brand deals or teach English or any of the other things that if you're looking into becoming a digital nomad, you've probably seen as like ways to make money as a digital nomad. So if you're like me, if you're like I was and you're like, I don't wanna do any of those things, but you still wanna travel, you want to make passive income, you wanna create your own schedule, you wanna work from wherever, this video is for you. So just a little insight into my life now, I think especially because a lot of people think like, oh, if you're living as a digital nomad, like you're kind of a budget traveler and like it's hard to make enough money to get by. Like, let me just break that stigma for you because I created, while I was a digital nomad, I created literally the most profitable business I could have ever imagined and I was able to still do that while working from wherever. So now I live in LA. I obviously don't travel full time anymore. I still travel as much as I want to, but I kind of enjoy having a home base now. My business generates anywhere from 100K up to 600K per month. Yes, per month, okay? And this is all something that I built, reaping the benefits of passive income now, but this was all something that I built while I was living as a digital nomad. So before I became a digital nomad, I remember looking into all the different ways to make money as a digital nomad, because it was always my dream to like travel the world, work from wherever and have that freedom lifestyle that I saw on Instagram. And all the options that I saw just sounded terrible. So like the, you've probably seen like the option to teach English, but in that way you have to go through this big search certification, you have to do practice obviously. And then they kind of just assign you a random country and you have to just stay there for like six months or something. So I was like, eh, don't wanna do that. I also didn't really want to see one-on-one -on -one clients because I didn't wanna have to coordinate like our time schedules. I wasn't really an influencer at the time. I was like, that's not really me because at the time I lived in a hut and I was like, who wants to see pictures of that? It's not very aesthetic. So. What I figured out through a lot of my research is that I could turn the skills that I currently had. So about six months prior to doing all this research, I had become a nutritional therapy practitioner from the Nutritional Therapy Association. It was almost, I think now it's entirely online, but at the time it was like mostly online and then we had a couple in-person uh, workshops, but I had all this nutrition knowledge and I was like, okay, how can I turn this knowledge and my passion for wellness and helping people into a profitable business where I also don't have to see one-on-one -on -one clients? And that's when my mind was blown and I learned about online courses. So I figured even though I had seen a couple one-on-one -on -one nutrition clients over time, I was like, what if I just work smarter, not harder, and take the process that I was taking a lot of my one-on-one -on -one clients through, because at the time I was attracting a lot of people that had the same types of hormonal issues, specifically like adrenal fatigue. So I was like, okay, I have this sort of protocol that I've created for my clients. What if I put it in a self-paced course that I could sell to an unlimited amount of people from wherever I am in the world, any time of day or night, and once it's done, like I don't have to trade my time for dollars. So I I was like that sounds genius so for the next couple of months i was working a serving job while putting this course together i'm not gonna lie it was a lot of work it was pretty exhausting to be like working on my course and doing instagram stories and all that stuff in the morning and then in the evening going to my serving job but it was only about three months i created that online course got it launched and then literally within a couple of days from that launch I made enough money. It wasn't a lot, but it was like a couple thousand dollars at that point. And I was like, okay, this is the proof of concept that I need. I'm gonna quit my serving job. I'm gonna go all in on courses. And then I kind of set the goal for myself that in the next six months of focusing only on courses, I was going to save up at least $10,000 so that 
my husband and I could quit our jobs and go traveling. Now, looking back, I'm like, oh my God, my goal was $10,000. That seems like not enough to travel off of, but I think I knew that was at least enough of a buffer to get me started because I knew once my courses were selling that I'd be able to generate passive income from them going forward. So it wasn't like I was just gonna make that 10K and then travel until the money ran out. No, my goal was like, that's enough to get me started. I'm gonna continue to work while I travel and make more money. So about, I would say four months after that initial course launch, I had hit my goal of 10K in the bank. Um, my husband and I had actually paid off all of our debt. He had quit his job in retail and we were making plans to start traveling the world as digital nomads. So it was really cool. He quit his job, but he was helping me full time with like video editing, photography, anything behind the scenes, like admin stuff that I didn't want to deal with. Um, so we kind of worked together as a team, which I'm not gonna lie, working with your husband, traveling with them, being together 24 seven, like during that time was definitely a challenge, but it also taught us a lot about like how to work with each other. Um, so definitely, you know, just advising anyone out there, like working with your partner can be challenging, but it also can be really amazing if you both are able to have that flexibility. So once we started traveling, the first places we went to as digital nomads were in Asia, Southeast Asia, because as a digital nomad, your money can go so far in Southeast Asia. So we went to Thailand first. I think we spent about a month there. And honestly, Thailand is probably one of the top places to be a digital nomad, just in terms of like your money being able to go a long way if you don't have a lot, but also in terms of the amount of other digital nomads that are there and like the places, now it obviously depends which cities you go to, but like Bangkok or Chiang Mai, any of the big cities have a lot of like co-working spaces, fast Wi-Fi, all that stuff to facilitate your ability to work. And then you can travel really easily from those cities in Thailand to like other areas of Southeast Asia. So what our kind of plan was, like I said, we spent the first month in Thailand and my goal was kind of like, okay, I wanna travel. I wanna go to like the beaches of Thailand. I wanna go to the little islands and I wanna really split my time between like enjoying the sites. But then also, you know, every week or so, we need to find a place with, with fast Wi-Fi so I can get a little bit of work done. So it was kind of this balance. And I think as a digital nomad, you really have to be disciplined in terms of like being able to get your work done but if you're the type of person who is and knows that like you have a good balance between okay i'm gonna get some work done and now i'm gonna take a couple days off and go have fun like as long as you can manage that i think that's probably the number one struggle with people who start to live as digital nomads is that maybe they do too much of the fun stuff and then they run out of money because they're not like upkeeping that side of their business but i think especially with online course creators online courses in general once they're done it's really not that much upkeep like i think i would say i was working maybe less than 10 hours a week on course related stuff. So just like responding to emails, filming social media content to continue promoting my courses, things like that. But it was absolutely doable. And like I said, you guys, during this time, not only did I make enough from my courses to get by and continue to fund my travels, but it started to scale and I started to grow and grow and grow. And so even if you go back, I guess I wasn't really vlogging too much at this time, but I know there are some videos like way back on my channel that showed like a couple of the places that we went to. We started in Asia, obviously we were like super budget traveling, but over time you can kind of see the progression after Asia, we then went to Europe and we're like staying in a little bit nicer places. And then we'd go somewhere else and stay a little bit nicer. And it was like kind of this consistent consistent up level of like, oh, my business is making more money, more money, more money. We're going to stay in nice, nicer places, nicer places. Um, and then after two years of that, and you guys over that time, like I said, we went to like 20 different countries. Bali was a place that we went to a long, for a long time. And I loved Bali. It's also a great place for digital nomads. Europe is definitely more pricey. Like if you're on a mega budget to start, I would probably recommend starting in Southeast Asia, but if you can afford it, like Europe is just amazing. But then after about two years of living out of a suitcase, traveling, never knowing where we were gonna go or like having a plan very far in advance, I think I just got to this point of being so tired of traveling, like physically tired. I was like, I need to have a home base and just know where I'm gonna be for a couple of months and sleep in the same bed that I know is comfortable and like have access to a Whole Foods <laughs> and all those amazing, like an access to a doctor. These are things that like you don't realize until you become a digital nomad living in other countries is like how much we take for granted the ability to just go to the grocery store and be able to pick up like 
a bottle of lotion and just know that it's not conditioner. You know what I mean? Like you're able to read it and be like, oh my God. And I think that's something that I love about traveling. I love being thrown off and feeling like I'm completely like out of my element and I don't know what's going on. But I think after so long of that, it does get a little bit tiring, at least it did for me. And so that's when I was like, okay, need to go home. And then since I've been home, obviously continue to grow and scale the business. And the best part now is that living that dope digital nomad life really, I really believe helped me create the business that I have now. Sorry, if you can hear my dogs barking. Because now I still have that balance between like, okay, today's a work day, I'm at home, I'm filming, but you know, next week we're going to Cabo and I'm gonna just enjoy myself there. Maybe I'll get a little bit of content, but the flexibility that online courses can give to anybody, whether you want to be a digital nomad or whether you just wanna make complete control of your own schedule, you wanna stay home with your kids, you wanna just work when you want, and stop working when you feel like it. You wanna make money while you're getting a facial, which is something that I do like once a week. I mean, it's literally the best. And I just want anybody out there who is like dreaming of having that lifestyle, dreaming of having that experience of freedom and making money, just know that you can do it. There are so many people out there who have done it in various different industries. At this point, I've now helped over 2,700 students in hundreds of different industries create profitable online courses that allow them the freedom to make their own schedule. And if they wanna become a digital nomad, they can. So I hope this video was helpful. If you guys are thinking about becoming a digital nomad, tell me in the comments what questions you have. If you want me to go more in depth on any of the topics that I talked about in this video, I would be happy to. Honestly, when I look back at that portion of my life, now it was a couple of years ago, it's like one of the most happy, fulfilling, fun times I've ever had. And I would really recommend anybody who's thinking about it to go do it. So if you are interested in creating your own online course, I'm gonna link below this video to my free masterclass. It's about 45 minutes long, but it's gonna take you through everything you need to know about choosing a profitable course topic, building an audience, building an email list, and then selling your course passively so that you can continue generating income while you're a digital nomad, while you're traveling the world and achieving all of your dreams. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back again soon with another video. Bye.